Welcome back, it's Armour Bricks, and today I want to share the update of the city and tell about what I'm thinking of doing, actually not even thinking what I've started to do. So, as you know, I'm running really out of space and I do not have enough place to accommodate anything new at the moment. That's the main reason why uh, it has stopped in terms of progress. If I look one year back, it was much more uh, things that were happening in the city. Because I had space, I had uh, ideas how to re rearrange, how to play with different areas in the city. But now I think I reached the maximum what I can get in this room. And the next step would probably be to uh, either uh, rent a place in order to accommodate bigger space for the city or uh, look uh, and think out, out of the box and do some things that maybe it's, it's not good to do. But anyhow, I think just for me to continue updating city, I need to try to do that. So... Let's get back to business. Again, I'm aiming to modify this area that was modified recently. And I've already did some changes by putting this corner building on the full base plate. It was previously not on the full, it was uh, on the partial base plate. So it was on uh, 20... Six studs, I believe. Yeah, because this area, the park that was introduced, is sitting on 26 studs. So I've enlarged uh, the base plate to the regular size. And as you can see, this is six studs gap in between the buildings. And it would mean that I am exposing the buildings by six studs, moving them hanging above the tabletop and this is the reasoning why i'm doing it just to accommodate the two base plate building in the center of this so most of the park will go uh, out uh, it will remain only one third of the park probably just the pond and it will be shrinked a bit but the main idea is to put here uh, the new botanical gardens, the new idea set that is coming. So I thought that, yeah, this would be the purchase that I would like to do. Although, if you look far, far there, we do have a really good looking uh, botanical garden, which is made from two sets plus extra pieces uh, which is made by Brick Artisan if I remember correctly <clears throat> that is truly wonderful set uh, when built in, in such a scale but now I'm thinking that maybe I should buy the new idea set modify it again uh, just to uh, make it a bit bigger in terms of height uh, in terms of uh, the surroundings and put it right here. So what I've started to do already is to enlarge this area to accommodate to fit the full uh, width of the base plate. So yeah, I will be doing some rearrangements with this park just to add those extra six studs. So, therefore, you could see the changes that are happening here. Besides that, I will move on to this area of the city. And I have enough USB cables already to start transformation to the new mills plate system that I've shared in the last couple of videos. So, it will mean that I will be... Moving out these buildings, I will be modifying the mills plate and it will have that really great connectivity in terms of USB. No more USB hubs 
Marco cables that are messing up around the city. So they will be hidden and it will be clean and nice. So yeah, these are the first things I want to do. Afterwards, we will see what to do. Of course, the new modular is coming. So I do have one base plate right here for that new modular. So I'm ready for that, but I'm not ready for anything more. So if anything will pop up, I will need to rethink again. But at least for now, I do have idea how to incorporate the Ideas Botanical Garden in this section. Although I will need to sacrifice the park, but it is what it is. I want to have as, as many buildings as possible. I know it is hardly achievable, but I'm working with limited space. So I need to uh, work with what I have. So, let me know what you think about these upcoming plans. And, yeah, do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Goodbye.